Zmieniając temat, chciałbym zaprosić Państwa do obejrzenia drugiego fragmentu filmu dokumentalnego pod tytułem Canada Geography, History and Traditions. Autorem scenariusza i realizatorem niezwykle interesującego dokumentu produkcji firmy Media Mind Digital jest Craig Farlinger, a narratorem w języku angielskim Al Sturm. Dziś zwiedzimy prowincję Prince Edward Island, Quebec i Ontario. The 13-kilometer-long Confederation Bridge links Prince Edward Island to the mainland across the Northumberland Strait. PEI is Canada's smallest and least populated province, 140,000 inhabitants on an island 224 kilometers long. Tourism is the province's second largest industry and the capital city Charlottetown is a very visitor-friendly place. A main attraction of the island is its more than 90 secluded beaches that encircle the island. Tourists come from around the world to visit Green Gables House, a museum about L.M. Montgomery, author of the Anne of Green Gables books. New Brunswick has a population of about 760,000 people, and its main industry is forestry. The largest city in the province is St. John, located on the Fundy Coastal Drive. The Bay of Fundy, between New Brunswick and Nova Scotia, experiences the world's highest tides, averaging 14 to 15 meters. In St. John, the bay tides rise four and a half meters, creating a phenomenon called the reversing falls. At low tide, thunderous rapids become a site for jet boat rides. This phenomenon is caused by the southward flow of the St. John River meeting the incoming tides of the Bay of Fundy. At Hopewell Cape, the Hopewell Rocks Park is a popular location to explore the flower pot rock formations created by the tides. This can be done starting three hours before low tide to three hours after low tide. When the tide rises, it's time to take to the water for some of the best sea kayaking Canada has to offer. New Brunswick has some stunning beaches on its east coast, especially near the city of Moncton at the coastal town of Shediac. One of Moncton's attractions is Magnetic Hill, a very curious optical illusion where cars are pulled uphill. Quebec is Canada's largest province and is predominantly French-speaking with a total population of 7.6 million inhabitants. The capital is Quebec City, located on the St. Lawrence River. It is one of the oldest and most beautiful cities in the country. The 
the magnificent Fairmont Chateau Frontenac, first opened in 1893. It is one of Canada's finest hotels. The Plains of Abraham is a large grassy field high above the St. Lawrence, where the decisive battle that led to British control of Quebec took place in 1759. The Citadel is a huge old fort that can be toured. The main attraction of the city is Old Quebec, an historic walking area full of fine restaurants, cafes, and shops. Quebecois people are some of the most gracious and culturally advanced in the country. There are several outstanding attractions located within a short drive of Quebec City. Montmorency Falls is the highest in Quebec at 83 meters, over one and a half times as high as Niagara Falls. St. Anne de Beaupre Basilica is a famous Catholic landmark whose earliest buildings were constructed in the 17th century. <music> Quebec's largest city is Montreal. Over half the population of the province lives here. The city is located along the St. Lawrence River, where it widens into fast-flowing rapids. The city is named after the low-lying mountain that it has grown up around. On the summit of Mount Royal is a large park with a panoramic view of the city. Like Quebec City, Old Montreal is very European in character with cobblestone streets, a cafe culture, and historic 17th and 18th century architecture. Montreal's Notre Dame Basilica is a neo-Gothic building dating from 1829. Visitors can go strolling or biking along the waterfront at the Old Port, where a variety of boat cruises are also offered. Montreal's Olympic Stadium was built as the main venue for the 1976 Summer Olympics. Next to the stadium is the Montreal Biodome, a large nature museum representing four ecosystems from the Americas. The province of Ontario is Canada's most populated province with about 12.6 million people. Most people live in the south in the fertile Great Lakes St. Lawrence Lowlands. 
It is a beautiful province covered with forests and over 250,000 lakes. The central Muskoka Cottage region and Algonquin Provincial Park are especially popular wilderness recreational areas. Another popular destination, especially for scenic boat cruises, is the beautiful Thousand Islands Recreational Area located around Gananoque, where the St. Lawrence River begins. Canada's capital city, Ottawa, is located on the Ottawa River, which forms part of Ontario's eastern boundary with Quebec. The city of Ottawa has a population of about 880,000. The national capital region, which includes Ottawa and Gatineau, Quebec, has many museums, most notably the Canadian Museum of Civilization and the Canadian War Museum. Ottawa is also home to the National Gallery of Canada, which features the work of both Canadian and international artists. The Grand Fairmont Chateau Laurier is one of the city's premier hotels. On Parliament Hill, Three Gothic Revival style buildings stand on a 170 foot bluff overlooking the Ottawa River. They house the offices of the Members of Parliament, the House of Commons and the Senate. Guided tours of the centre block delve into Canadian history and explain the workings of the political system. The ceremonial guard of the Canadian forces brings stirring military drills and music to Parliament Hill once every day during the summer with the changing of the guard ceremony. Adjacent to Parliament Hill is Spark Street Mall, a heritage shopping and dining street. The Byward Market is a traditional farmer's market surrounding a two-story building of boutiques, bistros, and restaurants. <laughs> 